All right, hi everyone. In today's video, I'm going to focus on those darn split tasks and how you can actually fix them in MS Project. And before we do get an answer, remember to please like and comment on this video if you enjoy the videos. It always helps me to create more content. And then secondly, remember that if you want to level up your Microsoft Project skills, we offer a specialized scheduling course that's designed specifically for construction and engineering professionals. It's all about giving you some tools to manage your projects efficiently and become a, an MS Project Ninja. So check it out. The link is in the comments. Right back to today's problem, split tasks. I know I've got a lot of questions on split tasks. How can we deal with them? How can we solve them? The answer is actually quite simple. I think the split task issue is mostly a problem for those of you who work with other software where you don't have this option always. And, and this display, especially if, if you have many of them, becomes frustrating for a lot of people. They don't want to see these little lines drawn. So they want to see the task fill up the space up to the time now line. So in this instance, you'll see my time now line is on that Monday in October and there's a little bit of an update here that's happened to this trends excavation task the remainder is then set to to continue from that Tuesday onwards and now what MS project does in this case is it because we've got this small amount of progress the 10 percent it splits this task if I reschedule the task because obviously I, I want the remaining work to not only start from the time now line onwards and this creates a split now this is actually just a visual problem for most people. So if you right click on, on your Gantt chart side window and you go to layout, you can actually switch this off. So you can this well choose not to show those, those splits. So just click on that, click on okay and Bob's your uncle. Split is gone. So for many people, this is visually more, more pleasing. That's what they want to see. For those of you who want to understand, let's have a, a bit of a deeper dive. Now, remember that the goal of an update or the point of an update for me is to as closely as possible reflect what is happening on site, the, the true picture, an accurate picture of what is happening on site. So in that sense, the split task could be accurate, could be actually very accurate if the scenario is that I've worked on that Monday, all my equipment, whatever I've got to excavate this trench, the excavator and, and the, the laborers and everybody working on that site. If they worked on that Monday and they moved to a different task and this task, let's say they couldn't proceed with this task. They moved to a different task and then they worked on that task and they can only come back on that Tuesday. So in other words, this task is delayed but my resources wasn't really or weren't really working during that time. So in that case, the split is actually accurate. It shows us one day worth of work and then there's nothing else to calculate resources or actual cost on. And in that case, that's accurate. However, if that's not the case, and I, I presume this is what mostly happens, is that the, your resources were actually working or they were there standing on that task. They couldn't go anywhere else, for, for example. Now, this excavation was delayed. So the task was delayed. And for that reason, we want to fill the split bar with a, an actual task duration because we are paying money for the equipment that were on that task, busy on the task, but they couldn't actually do anything. Uh, and in that case, we've got a delay plus the cost impact of that task. And then this picture is not accurate. Then I don't want to show the split. Then actually I want to fill this bar. All right. And that's the, I think that's as, as simple as that. That's the question you have to ask when you do an update. And I know a lot of people, a lot of contractors go through their update and they simply punch in the percentage values. And this is typically where this, these problems start to arise. The, the split task and it's not actually accurate. And now you try and fiddle with this and it doesn't really work. So always ask yourself the question, what's going on here? And remember that MS Project calculates <clears throat> percentage complete automatically uh, by using the following formula. It says actual duration, so in this case the one day, divided by the total duration, which in this case is the 10 days. 
So it's one day divided by the 10 days. That's where the 10% comes from. So you don't even have to punch in the value if the moment that you populate the actual duration and you've got your actual start date punched in here, it'll automatically calculate your percentage complete for you. And this is something that I typically advise contractors to do is instead of just punching in values, go and think about when did you start this task? What was the actual duration up to now? What is the remaining duration of this task still to come? And that will give you a much better and much more accurate picture than simply just punching in the values. All right, I hope this video solved a quick issue for you. Stay tuned. I have actually this video prompted me to do something a bit more in depth about updates and updating a task and sorting out some of those difficulties. So please subscribe and click on that bell button to make sure that you don't miss any new content in future.